Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today is day 22 of Review Maze and I will be talking about It's a Wonderful Life. Six days ago, it celebrated its 75th anniversary and is still regarded as one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time and one of my all-time favourites for sure. Uh, if you haven't seen this film, be sure to go check it out. Leave a like before you go. And then come back and enjoy the video. Subscribe as well. Leave a comment for any Christmas films you'd like to see before the uh, year is over. And for any films you would like me to talk about in general. This is obviously from 1946. So I love classic films all the way. In, I think was it obviously Wizard of Oz came out before this. So back to the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. You name that little films. Recommend them below. I will review them. And I give them a thumbs up or thumbs down. And so you can check them out. And you'd hear my opinion on what I think on the films you want to see reviewed. Anyways, that's enough chitter-chatter. Enjoy the review. So it's enough for life. Obviously, as I said, came out, came out in the 1946, and it was a year after the war. Uh, and obviously, the fact that this is obviously a hugely uh, regarded Christmas film among many households across the world, and I don't know what it is about. Well, I know what it is in a way, but there's so many films like this out there that you go is the best Christmas film ever. Like I said, The Snowman, Polar Express. Uh, this just embodies uh, so much Christmas spirit, the spirit of business and family and working hard and uh, helping out people and I just love everything about this film it obviously follows the character of George Bailey and obviously I want to thought before I go into the film it's weird that watching this film like 95% members of the cast member have sadly passed but yet they are still incredible to watch and the fact that these people are probably more watched now Christmas, then multiple other Christmas films is crazy to me. 75 years on, these guys did an amazing job of this film. And yeah, I will forever watch this every year on Christmas Eve night uh, and enjoy it thoroughly. But yeah, obviously it follows the story of George Bailey, Harry Bailey, Mr. Potter, Clarence, Mary, uh, Sam Wainthright, uh, Uncle Billy, uh, Ernie, Bert, Violet, Mr. Gower, and a few other characters thrown in there that I have not mentioned. Um, but it's a brilliant story about, obviously, George um, working at his dad's business, uh, a business which is like a loaning bank. Um, so where it helps out people, it allows people to deal with mortgages and payments and all that stuff. Oh, I won't really go into it because I don't know how it all fully works. But what he does for the community is amazing. And he rivals Potter who obviously basically pushed his dad to his grave because of all the stress and the uh, everything put him through. But obviously, you know, George had to sacrifice his trip to Europe and he sent his um, little brother, Harry, to college. He married. And this story basically tackles the fact that George is a selfless man. He stayed home. He fought for his dad's business against Potter. He works with Uncle Billy. He works with his cousin. Uh, and he builds a brilliant relationship with Mary, who he met as a kid then met at the party where they were obviously doing the Charleston dance. And then he made a family of four kids. And then all the stress gets to him when obviously issues arise with the whole money. And that Uncle Billy messes up by accident when coming into confrontation with Potter. So obviously deals with suicide. Obviously he doesn't commit suicide, but he wants to commit suicide. He wants to get out of this world that he sort of, Started off so well and now he's gone massively down. To another fact, he can't help people, can't even help himself. So he's at his lowest point. And then obviously the concept of the film is a guy called Clarence, an angel sent down by Joseph, one of the main angels, um, to show him a life that without George Bailey. In, and he helps him show that certain characters are in prison, certain characters mm -hmm are more hateful, certain characters are, you know, got, uh, on the brink of their ending because not someone hasn't been there to put him in the right direction. Mary works in a library. Violet is uh, being arrested at the start. 
uh, Mr. Gower, as I guess, the guy is in, he, he was in prison for years. Sam Waithright, I don't think it was mentioned. But yeah, it's called Pottersville rather than, um, I don't remember what it's called. But basically, Bailey Park. Bailey Park is obviously a warehouse, but they build a bunch of houses in there. And obviously, George gives more houses to people. A lot happens in this film, but I'm not going to cover everything. But yeah, he sees the differences with him not being alive or born, uh, what his mother goes through, Harry dying uh, in the lake at the start. Uh, obviously, a huge thing I missed up, obviously, George is deaf in one after saving his brother. And obviously, therefore, when he's not born, Harry dies. So a lot. George did so much for so many people, and it's such an amazing 20 minutes of the film. It's like an hour and 30 where it's him, his whole build up to the family with Mary and his kids. Then you have this 20 minute moments where it's just incredibly done and a great bonding scene between George and Clarence, where George is so in denial of what's going on. And then he's just, it's crazy how one man could touch so many lives, how he makes Ernie a better person, Bert a better person, Violet, Mr. Gower, Uncle Billy, who's in mental asylum, his mother, Harry being alive, sending him to college and being in the army. Uh, help saving all the people on that boat that Harry saves, his impact on Mary, having four kids. Um, Potter dominates everything in that world. But then obviously he, he realises he has to go back because life isn't all that bad. It all isn't about money. He would just take anything with a pinch of salt and just go with it. Goes back. Obviously the bank people are at there. Um, they, there's a warrant for his arrest. But then one of the greatest scenes in any Christmas film happens when all... These people come in that Mary is gathered. Uh, he has all his money coming off. People who work, the uh, woman who worked for his dad and mum as a kid. Um, you have Billy, Sam Wainwright, giving a 25,000 uh, check to George to help people. Um, Ernie's there, Bert's there, Violet's there. She stays. She decides she don't want to go to New York. She wants to stay here because obviously people like George make her a better person. Mr. Gower was there. So many amazing characters. It's such an amazing scene. And then a really nice scene I like is when uh, this bell goes on the tree uh, and then it rings. And then obviously the young daughter is like, every time bell rings, an angel gets his wings. One of the most iconic phrases from a Christmas film. And George has so much respect for Clarence and what he did and the opportunity he gave him and it's a bloody beautiful film this um i highly recommend you check it out because from start to finish i believe his name's james stewart james stewart did a phenomenal job in his role and i genuinely regard this as one of the greatest christmas films ever it's sad emotional funny at times um you get annoyed at george for how he acts to people um, but you care so much for his character and his development, his sacrifices, his commitment to the world, his building, his loyalty to his family, his honour to his family, his respect, his ability to help anyone and everyone and to just be charming and charismatic. And every side character in this film is so likeable. I mean, the, the villainous to Potter is brilliant. He's a villain from start to finish. He's, I just love it. And George's resilience, resilience to fight back constantly against Potter is brilliant. How I, I highly recommend you go and check this out. It's a phenomenal film. I would, I'd, I'd also class it as one of the greatest films of all time. Not just a great Christmas film, but it's also one of the greatest films of all time. Every time I watch, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's on for like two hours and 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it is. And you don't get bored. You're just engrossed in this world. I watch it once a year, and I'm just like, you want George to succeed. You want the people around him to be better people, and it's just an absolutely amazing film. And 75 years later, and people are still watching this film, still regarding it as better than films that are coming out in modern day, because this film is pure joy and Christmas. Everything that is Christmas is in this film. Everything that is family is in this film. Go check it out. I hope you will have a good time watching it. Some people have never seen this film. So check it out. Subscribe to the channel for more films like this, reviews like this. Like, comment for anything else you want to see. Take care for now. And goodbye.